Well, my friends, Walter here. I'm just hand holding this Sony Handycam, gathering up all my tools. I'll get on the front porch with my GoPro and I'll show you what I think was wrong with the solenoid. I took that ignition switch back off. I've already reinstalled it. I got so involved in it, I didn't bother to film it. But I'll show you what I've done to get power to that ignition switch. I finally got back up here to the house from working on my boat. I had a total feeling of, um, how would I word it? I don't know, like I done give up. Didn't know what else to do with on that ignition switch, but I went out there today and tinkered with it. I'm gonna show you what I found. As you recall, when the, the primer solenoid before had trouble getting power to it and we lubricated the key with WD-40 and made it make a connection because the contacts in there were corroded. I ordered a new ignition switch, put it on the other day, and had no power to the ignition switch. Well, I thought, well, I done wired it wrong. I don't know how to get it fixed. I slammed it all back together and thought about it for a couple of days. Way back out there today, and here's the old ignition switch. And the way it works, you got a kill switch on there that holds it in about that far. See that button going in right there? So the kill switch holds it in that even position right there. When you want to start it, you push in on it, like that. And what it does, it puts power to this center post right here, which goes straight to the cylinder. It's like an electric choke. I even got to the point, I was disappointed because this, I was thinking about putting this one back on there, thinking maybe the other one was wrong, had something wrong with it. So I kept pulling wires off and checking them. See this wire, right, this connector right here? This is the purple wire that went to the center post. And it just doesn't snap. I noticed all the other prongs would just snap right on there. I even took and trimmed off some of this rubber to see if it was if I could get it connected. So I decided I probably damaged it. It could have been a problem with that wire all along. But I'm pretty sure it was a bad ignition switch. I hate to think I bought one and not needed it. Anyway, what am I going to do? That wire ain't making connections. So I went up under the console and found a wire hanging down to some kind of light that ain't never been used, probably never will be used. And it wasn't the same kind of connector. It didn't even look the same. But it was a barrel type connector and it slipped right on there real snug. So I reached up in there with my wire snips and cut about that much of the wire off. It was hanging down under the console. Went, pulled this thing off, went to the ignition switch, ignition switch, and shoved that piece up on there with a little pigtail wire about that long. And it snipped on there real snug. Got my wire strippers and stripped off a little bit of wire. Stripped off the wire where I cut this off, twisted it together. Probably should have soldered it, but I didn't have no soldering gun out there. Put some black tape on it. Push the key in and I heard the solenoid click. Like that, it means it's working. First I didn't hear it, but I don't think I was pushing in hard enough on the key, but it's clicking now. Too hot in the day, but maybe tomorrow I'll roll the boat out and see, make sure that it is repaired by starting it up and running it. But I sure got a feeling of accomplishment when I got that solenoid working. I just couldn't imagine how the wire was working last week and not working this week. So I decided it had to be one of them connectors. And 
it sure is a world. It was that stupid little thing right there. Doesn't snap on at all, it just slides on. The only thing it's touching is rubber. So I probably damaged it when I ripped it off with the pliers. But just in case, I'm gonna hang on to this old ignition switch. It ain't the best shape in the world, but you never know. If I get in a bind and need one, and I'll still have it. Anyway, not much of a vlog today, but I uh, finished off the day with a sense of accomplishment. Thanks for listening.